What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we have the most bestest news in the world. Well, not in the world, but in the world of Infinite Warfare. Now, before I get into all that good stuff, huge shout out to Evan, aka Strydev. He let me hop onto his account as part of my Patreon and get a nuke for him. This is actually my first ever Xbox nuke and I apologize, I did have to get somewhat sweaty. I had the synaptic and the fallout. I didn't have any sound and I just bought the Cronus Max which allows me to use the PS4 controller on the Xbox and there was like a slight 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 input lag so it was kind of tough getting used to so I had to be sweaty as possible so enjoy that gameplay in the background but to start off a lot of cool things popped up yesterday including a bunch of YouTubers got flown out to LA and they got to capture DLC 3. Now with that, obviously they get to capture four maps. They all looked really, really awesome. A lot of them were commenting on how this was one of the best DLCs Infinite Warfare has seen. It may be the best so far. And I'm really excited for that, but this was posted on Reddit. And it was actually later covered by Tabor Hill. And that is the Volk Retro. So originally, this was posted in E. coli Espresso's channel where he got killed by a, a Volk. And down below where you can see what gun it was, it says the Volk Retro. Now, looking at this screenshot, this is actually the camo that we get for the summer days. This is also seen on the ERAD Equinox, so that 100% tells us the Volk Retro, which is the Ballistic Firing Volk, aka the AK-47, is going to be obtainable by opening these summer days crates. Now, while it's not technically 100% free, the pool of items in those summer days supply drops are very, very limited. It's probably going to include some new camos next week and then either one of the two remaining guns which is either the Volk Retro like we were just going over or we're still waiting on the raw prototype which gives you the nuke which is going to be another free summer day drop called Solar Powered. Now the bad thing you may have noticed is it still very much looks like the Volk which was kind of depressing. I really wanted this to be like really really old school looking. So that that's like the, that's the bad news of everything. It, it still looks mainly like the Volk. I was hoping it was going to get more of like a classic AK feel, but I think there's still hope. And this is something I'm still very unsure of. So just to relate back to the 12 days of Christmas, if you recall correctly, we got the K-Bar Bunker Buster as well as the Igloo Buster. Now the reason they did this is because if you were not available to sign online during these 12 days, you would still have the ability to purchase the K-Bar Bunker Buster with Salvage. Now I have a very very strong feeling they're going to do the same exact thing this go around. So for whatever reason, if you're on vacation, it's 4th of July weekend, uh, you may be gone for a week or two as well. But if you don't have the ability to get the ERAD Equinox, which is the brand new nuke variant, later down the road I have a strong feeling you're still going to be able to craft something similar. Now obviously it's going to be an ERAD nuke variant, it's not going to be called Equinox, and you're not going to get that cool camo that came on it, but it's still going to do the same exact thing. And my strong suspicion here is the same thing is going to happen for the Volk Retro. Now even though it is only during the summer days, it has that special camel and all that good stuff, we're also going to be getting the Volk Vintage. Now this was the original name that we thought the Ballistic Volk was going to be, and I think this is going to be the craftable one. So if you don't have time to sign on this week or next week whenever it comes out, because these summer days last for quite some time, but if you don't have the ability to sign on, later down the road, they're going to make the Volk Vintage craftable. It's probably going to be the 4000 Salvage, nothing crazy, and it's just going to be the Ballistic Volk. So. If you miss out and you don't get it on these summer days drops, don't worry, it's going to be craftable by Salvage. And just to further confirm that, this was actually leaked on Reddit uh, quite some time ago. This is like, we're talking like a couple of months now. But as you can see, much like we saw in the 12 days of Christmas, the three summer specific ones are the second ones listed. So for example, the ERAD Final, which we found out to be the Equinox, the Volk Retro, and then the Raw Solar Powered are all these summer days drops. And then the other three, the top ones listed, are going to be the craftable of those respected weapons. So for example, we have the ERAD Summer Night, which is going to be the nuke variant. We have the Volk Vintage, which is going to be our ballistic AK-47. And then finally, we have the Raw Thermo, which is our craftable Raw variant. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up as it helps me out. I'm really excited for this. I know a lot of people out there have been waiting for the Ballistic Volk. And I think it's going to be a really, really high chance for us to unlock it in the summer day drops. You know, there's less items in there to get, so there's a higher chance of getting something good. So I'm really excited for that. And again, if you're not available to get these Summer Drops weapon, don't worry, they're going to be craftable later down the road. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks for watching.